Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Journey Map in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, setting up, and then using Journey Map in Minecraft. We're going to be going over it all in this video and yeah, overall I think this is one of the best mini maps out there. Uh, actually because it's one of the best maps out there. Sure, it adds in a minimap mod, but Journey Map is a lot more than a minimap mod. It is a true Minecraft map mod and I'll show you what I mean once we get in game. First one was though, we do have SMR sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually haven't just Apex so much, we also start our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now let's, let's go ahead and get Journey Map up and running in 1.17.1. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for how to get Journey map, but if you're going with the video, once you're here, just click on the yellow download journey map button. They'll then take us off to journey map's official download page, where congrats to them, they have just passed 100 million total downloads. Awesome stuff. Once you're here though, you can kind of see some of the features that journey map has. Doesn't give you too much, but you can see it there. You can also see the tutorials and guides there as well. If you do need additional information after this tutorial, but hopefully you won't. Nevertheless, we can come over here to the right hand side now, scroll down until we see the Minecraft 1.17 section, and then under that we do have Journey Map 1.17.1. Go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that, and Journey Map will start downloading after just a few seconds. As you can see, it's downloading, and there we go. Now, we will need to keep Journey Map in the bottom left, but as you can see, it says Journey Map in the title, so it is 100% safe to keep it in the bottom left of your screen. And you have to save Journey Map in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. That's just going to depend on your browser, though. So now we can go ahead and move on to downloading Forge. Obviously, Journey Map is a Forge mod, so we need the Forge mod loader. To find that, you can go to the third link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our complete guide for getting Forge. It goes over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Forge for Minecraft 1.17.1. So once you're here, you just want to go ahead and scroll down though and click on the green download button. I'm going to be giving you the basics of Forge in this tutorial, but if you do need any additional help, this one right here, this this text tutorial linked in the description, it's the one for you. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download Forge button. That will then open up the Forge download page where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.17.1 is selected, which we can see it is right there. If it's not, come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.17 and then click 1.17.1. Then you'll see MC 1.17.1 here and we can come under download latest and click installer. So once you've got 1.17.1 there, come to download latest and click on the installer button. That's then going to take us off to add focus. We're stop! Hands in the air. What are you doing? Stop! Don't click anything. Don't do anything. Once you click that installer button, don't click anything except sit on this page for seven to ten seconds. After that time, in the top right, you'll have this red skip button appear. See that red skip button? So once that red skip button appears, go ahead and click that. And that's the only thing on this page you want to click is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button in the bottom left, you will have Forge 1.17.1 start downloading. If you're on Google Chrome, as long as it has Forge in the title, you're safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you only need to save Forge in the center of your screen. Again, it's 100% safe as long as it has Forge in the title. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we will have Forge and and journey map right there they are so there's journey map and there's forge these aren't your desktop guess what they're gonna be found in your downloads folder to find that click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen go ahead and type in downloads have this downloads file folder here and in here, you will be able to find Forge and Journey Map. Now, what you do find these, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, one thing I will say is if these logos are different, like these aren't the same logos as mine, like these are Java logos, if yours are WinRAR files or zip files or something like that, just keep watching the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if you can open up Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or you do have Java, and when you click OK, you get some weird error or something. Well, if that's the case, what you need to do is go here, download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It's in the description down below, of course, link down there. And this will show you exactly how to get Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, obviously, Journey Map is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java. And this version has been updated recently. So if you've had Java in the past, been able to install Minecraft mods in the past, suddenly you can't, this is probably why. So go download this version of Java, then you'll be good to go. Now, for most of you, that'll be all you need. Some of you will want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. If your logos are different from mine, for example, your file icons right, are WinRAR files or something like that, this right here, the Jarfix, will fix that after you've installed Java. Install Java first, then you can run the Jarfix, otherwise Jarfix is useless. Now let's just go ahead and minimize our browser, and now we can right-click on Forge, 
click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Forge mod system installer where all we want to do is click on install client and click OK. Now Forge is going to download some stuff, do some things, and install. And once Forge finishes installing here, it will go ahead and say boom, success to install client profile Forge. The reason it might not do that is if you've not played Minecraft 1.17.1 with no mods, that's the case, go do that and it will work. Let's go ahead and click on the OK button here. It's going to close out of the installer and now we can install Journey Map. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure the Forge installation is selected. We can do that by clicking this little arrow here next to the play button and selecting Forge. As long as this has 1.17.1-Forge under it, you're going to go ahead and click play and click play again. This is just confirming you're playing modded Minecraft. Nevertheless though, if you don't have Forge down here, what do you do? Well in that case, you want to come up here to the installations tab. Make sure this modded button is checked. See, I uncheck modded. Where's Forge? It went away. It's not there anymore. Well that's because the modded button isn't checked. So we go ahead and click modded again. Boom. There's Forge. Click play. Click play again. However, for some of you, you still won't have Forge or you won't have 1.17.1 dash forge under forge here. If that's the case, we're going to go ahead and click on the new installation here. The name of this can be whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. And it's had some amazing updates recently. If you have played Breakdown Craft in the past, come on back. It is getting better and better by the day. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Amazing grief protected survival. You will absolutely love it. We have over 150 players online every single day. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on. After you've got your name in there, we can click the version drop down box. This is the really important part. Click this version drop down box here. And then we want to select release. 1.17.1-Forge. Mine's appeared at the top. You might have to scroll down a little for yours, but release 1.17.1-Forge there. Go ahead and click on that. And then we want to go ahead and change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that because, well, I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. The most important part of this is that it says 1.17.1-Forge here. Now we can go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. We now have play.breakdowncraft.com as our profile, but most importantly, it says 1.17.1-Forge under it. Hover over that, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and click play again. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up and we can quickly and easily install Journey Map. The hard part is honestly over. At this point we just have to let Minecraft open up, install Journey Map, and then restart Minecraft. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu and from here what we want to do is go ahead and click on the Mods tab. See this Mods tab? Go and click on that Mods tab and then in the bottom left go and click on Open Mods folder. Again from the main menu click on the Mods tab and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That of course is then going to go ahead and open up our Mods folder and all we need to do to install Journey Map in 1.16 5 is take it from our desktop and drag and drop it into our mods folder. It's that simple. Now we can go ahead and come back to Minecraft and Journey Map's not here. Well, that's correct. Remember, I said we had to restart Minecraft. So after you've added Journey Map to your mods folder, go ahead and click Done and then quit the game. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, we just want to make sure that our profile that has Forge is selected. In our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Yours may be Forge, but it should say 1.17.1-Forge under it. Click the green play button. And now it's going to open up with Journey Map installed. It's that simple. Once we get in Minecraft, I'll show you everything is working, show you how to use Journey Map and some of that stuff, and uh, then we'll be done. So I will see you on the Minecraft main menu to uh, really showcase Journey Map. All right, so here we are. Minecraft is back open, and we can do a fancy transition open to here in game. Now, once we're in Minecraft, what we want to do is go and click on the Mods tab just to confirm that Journey Map is there. As you can see, there it is. Now we can go ahead and jump into a single player and load up any world. I'm going to load up this one right here. doesn't matter what it is. Journey Map will work with any of your existing worlds without any issues. You can remove it and all that, and it'll still work later on. So great stuff there. Now, occasionally with 1.17.1, you will get this not responding when you're loading worlds with mods. As you can see, it always works itself out. I'll go ahead and meet you once we're in game. So here we are in game. Obviously, we do have the journey map mini map in the top right up here. And when I joined in, it did say press J. So if we press J, you'll be able to see all of the journey map basically settings from here. So first, this is about journey map, what it is, revamp the UI, kind of what's new with the journey map. But most importantly, in the bottom right or bottom left, excuse me, this button here is options. This is where you can go through and start changing all the different options that Journey Map has. There's a ton of stuff here, right? For example, you can edit all the different stuff about waypoints. You can go to, you know, full screen map and how all that's changed. This is all the options. And again, we got here via J, right? So you hit, oops, excuse me, we hit J. And it actually, that was the first time it opens. I, I forget that's that. So the first time it opens, you'll see that screen. The second time you hit J, you'll see this screen. To get back to options, what you want to do is click on this button in the bottom there. There we go. And that opens up options. Click close. There we go. Excuse me about that. So again, that was the first time you hit J, you'll see that screen. The second time, you'll see this. And you can get to options with this button in the bottom center. But this is the mini map. Now, this actually isn't the mini map. This is the big map 
This is the mini map, and let's go ahead and fly around really fast. We're going to creative, just because that's easier. And I just want to show you how cool this this mod is. This is the best mini map mod out there, and I will stand by that. So as we go through and load in new chunks around the world, it's updating that larger map. So we do have a mini map up here. We can see entities on it. We can do anything we have ever wanted to do with a Minecraft mini map, but we have the added ability of being able to actually see this on a bigger map. That's amazing. The best big Minecraft map that I've ever seen. So if we go ahead and hit J now, we can scroll back through here, right? We can scroll back through all this and see that. If you do want to set a waypoint from here, you can do that by double clicking, right? If you double click, it'll set a waypoint. But I'm not looking to do that. Well, we can actually come back over here and go like, uh, I think this is about our spawn. So we could go ahead and set a spawn here and then go ahead and click save. Now if we come back in game and we turn around, we should be able to see there is the spawn waypoint and that'll be there for as long as we leave it activated. You can also get to waypoints by clicking J and then coming in here and selecting the little waypoints button down here. It's on the far left side of the bottom kind of menu and there's the spawn waypoint. You can add new waypoints at your current location. For example, we could do, um, you know, forest, or like, you know, I think this is a dark oak forest, so we can do dark oak forest. Then we can change the color of it if we want, maybe make that more of like a pinkish red. Click save, click close, come back here, and we do have a waypoint right there as well. So you can set as many of these as you want in as many ways as you want. Um, this is by far my favorite mini map mod out there, but it's also the most, you know, resource intensive and things like that, and that's why it takes the longest to update. And unfortunately, it doesn't get the, the fancy titles of, you know, the Minecraft 1.17.1 mini map mod, because... Well, this is a standalone mod, and most people just search for Journey Map and don't because it's just that good. So if we click J again, we'll be able to see it. We can now really start to fill this map out. And just imagine how huge and amazing this will be after you've explored massive areas. You've went all the way over here and all the way over here and all this stuff. Hey, this mini map mod, map mod, is amazing, and that's how to use Journey Map. Now, there are all sorts of other settings. You can change it from night to day, uh, like on the map. You can do all sorts of stuff. I had to make a type topography map, cave layers maps are also there. So much cool stuff can be changed, but overall you can play around with those on your own. There's also tons of different presets, for example, mini map, you can enable, disable, show caves, you can change different scales, different sizes, all of that stuff can be changed here. For example, we can change it to a square mini map if we want, come back and now we have a square mini map. I love this mod, if you can't tell. Nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on playdownbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, which actually, by the way, Journey Map does work on. It should be good to use in our survival worlds without any problem. Nevertheless, though, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Look at this awesome world here. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace.